Okay, so before we cut this one, the nice we're going to ruin it. But anyhow, remove the uh, toilet so we have more room. Remove the door. Oh, the warrior. And Cleveland. Okay, so this is diamond blade, dry or wet, seven inch. So I'm gonna replace to this uh, Makita so I can cut as deep as I can before I break it down. It's one half or 13 millimeter. Okay. I'm going to replace the, uh, the blade. We push this one in, there's a lock, so we can lock the blade, so we can turn the uh, nut to release it. Okay, so the nut on this one is unconventional. To open it, you do clockwise instead of counterclockwise, like most of the other one, okay? So watch out. So, if you look here, the arrow, then this one also have the arrow so the arrow should go the same way actually it's a bolt so counterclockwise you can screw it in remember that one it looks like the line is going to be here so I don't really want to break more than I have to and I don't want to hit the uh, cold water either so cold water will be the end of where I'm going to break and here will be the end so hopefully this will have enough room since my hand is small I can break it and we cut it to here hopefully it doesn't go this way can it go this way from there diagonal just yeah, never know. Just break right close to that. Okay, let's try it. Very dusty. We need a vacuum cleaner in here. Now we cut it. It's the point of no return. We have to break it. Okay, so now this is the uh, cement right here. We're gonna need to use the um, the bigger saw. Okay, so now we cut. Rectangular one. <laughs> now we're gonna hammer it out and see. So we're cutting through four pieces. Yeah. <laughs> we can see the dirt down there. A screen. Wow. Okay, so this is the pipe. You can see it's wet down here, but under here there's also a top. This is like a plastic cover. So I'm pretty sure that if we remove this cover, we will see the pipe. But under here, so let's see how thick this. Um, this clap is so from here 
Actually, about yeah, three inches. I'm gonna cut there. Or four. Wow, gravel. I can see water now. All wet. So these are plastic to stop the water from coming mm -hmm. up. Okay, so I can see the lake is from up here going down. So I'm going to cut right here so I don't have to break the whole slab. Okay, so before we cut the pipe, if you look in here, we can see the pipe and we know it leaks from between here and on top there. So, we're going to cut right about here. So next time if I do this, the pipe is here, but the bathroom, the faucet is here. So it looks like it's going diagonal all the way there. So I should have cut the slab about, yeah, another block. But from here, I can use compression fitting, so it will be okay. Now, this pipe right here, who's going to the washer and to the other side, it bent the other way. Look at that, so it goes sideways all the way over there. Okay, so we put a cut in here and start to rotate. So we have to do it lightly, slowly. And then tighten it slowly. And then tighten it slowly. Tighten it slowly. And then tighten it slowly. Tighten it a little bit. Now I make the groove already. That's good. A little bit. Take your time. Okay, so it's out. Let's see if I can pull this one up. Yeah! We can pull it up from that. Whoa! Look Whoa. at that big hole. How can it be? Is that a hole? It's a hole. It's a hole, man. That's an ugly hole right there. All right, we're done. Okay, so it's time for me to make a new branch. This one's going to be the hot water. This one's going to be the hot water to the washer and dryer. And this one is going to be the one that we're fixing. We are going to have to connect another pipe in here. I'm going to make a pipe that's long enough. So we we'll push this in here to go to the top, all the way in. And then with the extension like this. So we're going to cut right here. For this one, and also this one, and this one right here, we're going to solder straight through so we don't have to make a connection. So we mark it here, and we're going to use this. To cut. Okay, so it's time. Turn off the hot water, turn off the water. There's a lump here, but I think I'm going to cut it above the lump. So this one is a little elliptical, so it's hard to do. But we manage to turn in. The water starts to leak out even though we turn off everything. So although we turn off the water, but it's still leaking out, it's from the residue. So we're going to leave it there until it's gone. So the water on the bottom, actually the water was draining from the top. So it stops now. So we can cut the top one, the main line. Alrighty then, it's out. So the first thing I want to do is to put a compression fitting onto the bottom first. So we're going to go from here all the way down. What is going on now? Yep, there you go. Oh, we fit right on it. 
So it fit right on it. It's gonna be perfect. One is in. We need to cut these to make it fit. Using the uh, copper, we don't need the uh, insert. Just press down with the two pliers. This one is leaking. So the long one is not very good. Okay, so compression fitting is on. The 45 degree is soldered. The only thing left is just the main pipe and the elbow. And we designed it so that it will fit nicely. And the top there. Just a little massage. So make sure compression fitting going straight first and tighten a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, no stop coupling so it goes straight through so we're going to slide all the way to the bottom but before we do that make sure everything else is good and we're going to put the flux first Okay, so this is it. Good job on that one. Hopefully it doesn't lift me up from behind.
Wow, the water is running. Check the compression. Wow. Solid. No water left there. Wow, the shark bite is good. Alrighty then. Looks like we're done. Just wait for a few days and see if anything pops. So, tighten the uh, compression fitting. No more noise. It looks like I just saved myself $5,000. A lot of trial and errors on making pipe, but it's still less than uh, 300 bucks with all the uh, stuff we bought. But at least we don't have to uh, go through the ceiling. Beautiful.